in this video we're gonna be talking about what first gun i would recommend to a majority of people um we're gonna be looking through this question through numerous different lenses but i think that this is a very tricky question to kind of flesh out figure out but we're going to dive into it and try and make a solid recommendation based on a number of factors with today's selection of guns we're going to be using guns that i own so we are limited by that there are certainly guns out there that i don't own or haven't shot yet um, that could certainly fall into a fantastic good first gun recommendation but before we dive in i just want to thank a huge sponsor of the channel nautilus ammunition they're an american ammunition retailer provide high quality ammo at a low cost to you typically their boxes go for three to five dollars less than what you can find in stores and ranges and they offer a number of calibers they offer 223 three in a blackout subsonics nine millimeter in different grain weights as well as hollow points and their list keeps ever growing. Uh, they have monthly subscriptions and where you can get ammo sent to your door every month. That's pretty cool. And they have free shipping along with that. For orders greater than $100 or more, you can use code Marksman5 to save 5% off your order. Huge thank you again to Nautilus Ammunition for being a fantastic, consistent partner of the channel. As we dive in, um, you really have to ask yourself, what do you need this gun to do? What role do you need it to serve in your life for your context uh, some of the different ways you could answer that would be one like sporting hunting and then you might be looking in the realms of a rifle probably not an ar or if you're just really concerned about going to work you work in a pretty sketchy place and you want to make sure that you have something that you can carry at work and, then, and you might be leaning towards a deep conceal small pistol something that won't print something that you can just put on your waistband and it doesn't even feel like you got a gun there or if you're just thinking about home defense purely and you don't really care to carry but you want something to defend your home with and something more like a you know an ar build would be up your alley i think if you intend for this gun to be your first and last gun and you just want a home defense weapon sure an ar might be the way to go uh, an SBR or a pistol build. Pistols are kind of weird right now. But I think if you're planning on getting your first gun and then maybe working up to get in some other platforms, I think that a nine millimeter double stack or one and a half stack pistol is the way to go. So within that realm, we've got three main categories. We have the slimline subcompact guns that typically hold rounds anywhere between 10 and 12. In this case, it's the Shadow Systems CR920, which is based off of the Glock 43 platform. Stepping up from there in size, you have the SIG P365X Macro. This is a little modified, so it's not exactly an X Macro, but essentially it's a slimline compact pistol category that you're looking at. And then finally, you have more of a full-size duty pistol. There is a reason why the Glock 19 has for a long time been touted as the best first gun, the best, if you'd only have one gun, what would it be? And that's because of the size to performance to capacity ratio that you get. I think that Sig Sauer has stepped up the line. And I think that they might have innovated, in this case, a Glock 19 killer. In other cases, it, it, it doesn't kill the Glock 19. But I think for a first gun that you want to flex into multiple categories, such as concealed carry, it works on me. I'm 5'4", 145 pounds, and I can conceal this. I can conceal this gun relatively easily. The capacity is fantastic. It gives you 17 plus one in the chamber, a number that can solve probably most problems. It has a full-size Picatinny rail. You can attach weapon-mounted lights to it and have it serve as a great uh, night concealed carry gun, as well as a bedside or nightstand gun for home defense. You can mount an optic to it from the factory so that you can be red dot capable and be comfortable shooting out either a little bit more at distance or just have uh, more confidence in your accuracy up close. And if you get the stock X macro, it, it comes with a compensated slide, which helps to reduce felt recoil. I think either the X macro or something built out, custom built out. Uh, I am going to be doing a video on this gun later on. We've got a, a completely different upper coming in and a different slide, different barrel setup from uh, FDES works. Just kind of give a spoiler. And I'm very excited to be testing that out and running it. So yeah, I think this would just be my preferred GPP, uh, general purpose pistol. You hear people talking about GPRs, general purpose rifles, but I, I really do think that this really shines in a lot of categories. It's not perfect in really any of them, but 
such as life. You know, there are easier to shoot 17 round capacity pistols, uh, more accurate ones as well. There are uh, smaller slimline carry guns that don't print as much. But I think this gun just really does an excellent job. I mean, it, it's it's lighter than the Glock 19 by uh, a handful of ounces and it carries more rounds. So for those of you with back pain, this gun, it feels like a really, really small gun when you're carrying it. I know I did a first impressions review on the X-Macro in a previous video and had similar remarks towards the end as my conclusions. But for those of you who are just looking and searching up for what would be the best first gun to get and you don't know where to start, I wanted this video to be out there because um, you may not be aware of the 365X Macro and so you might not be searching for that. So hopefully this video was helpful, uh, disclosing any relationships with SIG. No products were sent out to me for this video. I purchased this grip module and the magazines very recently, and I had this upper for a long time. These opinions are my own, not paid for, not bought. And uh, yeah, I hope this video proved to be helpful. Please, if you have any other first gun ideas in your experiences that you think could fill this role pretty well, throw them in the comment section. Let's start a conversation. Uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. Excited for some of the upcoming videos that we've got on the channel, but uh, we just got to, to film them and get them going. So we'll see you guys later.